この世に存在するべきではない愚かだな風間人Hello, Tekken fans. Today we're diving into the fascinating world of the Mishima family tree. From patriarch Jim Pachi to his descendants Heihachi, Kazuya, and Jin, this family's history is marked by conflict, betrayal, and tragedy. Join me as we explore the complex relationships and dramatic events that make up this iconic family in the Tekken series. How will the legacy of the Mishima family continue to shape the world of Tekken in future games? Let's find out together. Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Saipunk feed. The Mishima family's origins can be traced back to the Heian period in Japan, where they were originally a warrior clan that served the emperor. In more recent times, the family built an industrial empire that specialized in providing military resources to Japan during World War II. Jinpachi Mishima, the patriarch of the family, later shifted the focus of the family's corporation away from the military and towards martial arts training. He created his own style of karate, the Mishima style fighting karate, which he taught to his son Heihachi and a young girl named Kazumi, who belonged to a family of secret assassins known as the Hachijo clan. It was during this time that Kazumi and Heihachi fell in love and eventually got married, later having a son named Kazuya Mishima. Jim Pachi was also involved in the training of Kazuya, who he had a close relationship with. However, after Jim Pachi was imprisoned and Kazumi was killed, Heihachi became the sole teacher of Kazuya and his adopted son, Li Chao Lan. He was a harsh and unforgiving teacher, instilling in them a philosophy of survival of the fittest, where the only thing that mattered in a fight was who was left standing. After Kazumi's failed assassination attempt on Heihachi, she feared that both her husband and son, Kazuya, would become a threat to the world. To prevent this, she asked Akuma, whom she had once saved, to promise to kill them if she failed to do so. Heihachi forcibly took control of the family corporation from Jinpachi and imprisoned him underneath Honmaru after Jinpachi staged a coup to regain control. In the same year, Kazumi was killed by Heihachi after her second failed assassination attempt. Heihachi initially believed Kazumi suffered from a split personality disorder, but she later revealed her devil form and her mission to kill him in order to protect the world. A five-year-old Kazuya witnessed his mother's death at the hands of his father, and Heihachi beat him near a cliff. Believing that Kazuya might have the same illness as his mother, Heihachi threw him off the cliff. After surviving the fall, Kazuya climbed back up and Heihachi continued to raise him. Heihachi adopted Li Chao Lan as a rival for Kazuya, hoping to motivate Kazuya to become stronger. He discovered Li's fighting skills and reflexes while watching him fight on the streets of a Chinese city. Heihachi's tough education of both sons inspired a lasting hatred towards him, which Kazuya and Li still harbor to this day. Years later, Heihachi had a child named Lars Alexanderson with a Swedish woman to ensure that he was no longer involved in the transmission of the devil gene. Lars did not show any signs of carrying the gene, which ended Heihachi's interest in him. After winning the first King of Iron Fist tournament and defeating his father Heihachi, Kazuya took over the Mishima Zaibatsu and organized the second tournament. During this time, he met Jun Kazama and fathered a son with her, Jin, who also possessed the devil gene. However, Kazuya was defeated by Heihachi at the end of the second tournament and was seemingly killed. Fifteen years later, Jin sought out Heihachi to help him become stronger and seek revenge against his mother's killer. Heihachi trained Jin for four years, and they had a better relationship than Heihachi had had with his own sons. However, Heihachi eventually shot Jin in the head, triggering the awakening of his devil Jin and turning him into devil Jin. Jin became determined to undo the evil associated with the Mishima name and fought against his father and grandfather in subsequent tournaments. After defeating his great-grandfather Jinpachi, Jin took over the Mishima Zaibatsu but became a tyrant. His uncle Lars and Heihachi's adopted son, Li Chao Lan, led a coup against him, and they now seek to use Jin to end the global war between the Mishima Zaibatsu, now led by Jin, and G Corporation, led by Kazuya. Heihachi was killed in a fight against Kazuya. Tekken 7 was intended to be the culmination of the Mishima clan saga, providing answers to long-standing questions about the family's history. While the game did deliver on this promise to some extent by concluding the conflict between Heihachi and Kazuya, the saga 
saga itself still persists, with Kazuya taking on the role of the primary antagonist. Despite Heihachi's death, the Mishima family's story remains unfinished, and the events of Tekken 7 set the stage for further developments and conflicts within the clan. As such, fans of the series can look forward to more dramatic confrontations and plot twists in the future. The Mishima family is comprised of several prominent leaders. Jinpachi Mishima, the father of Heihachi and grandfather of Kazuya and Lars, Heihachi Mishima, the son of Jinpachi, husband of Kazumi, and father of Kazuya, Lee, and Lars, passed away in Tekken 7. Kazumi Mishima, Heihachi's wife and Kazuya's mother, died before the events of the Tekken series. Kazuya Mishima, the grandson of Jinpachi, son of Heihachi and Kazumi, an adopted brother of Lee and half-brother of Lars, is also the father of Jin. Lee Chao Lan, Heihachi's adopted son and Kazuya's adopted brother, is Jin's uncle. Lars Alexanderson, Heihachi's illegitimate son and Kazuya's half-brother, is also Jin's uncle. Jin Kazama, the great-grandson of Jinpachi, grandson of Heihachi and Kazumi, son of Kazuya and Jun, and nephew of Lee and Lars, took his mother's family name as he was raised by her. And that's a wrap on our exploration of the Mishima family tree. From Jin Pachi to Jin, this family's story is one of epic battles, family drama, and powerful legacies. What's your favorite part of the Mishima family story? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Tekken content. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the Cypunk feed.